So what is going on guys, I got back from Andrea, and today we are back at a JJK game which was very famous back in the day but now they are slowly you know getting things back up again and eventually you know <laughs> it is probably gonna be the best JJK game other than Grand Kaizen which they are having some issues now but ladies and gentlemen welcome back to Kaizen the JJK game so ladies and gentlemen why am I on this game because uh, they have recently dropped a new curse and that is the Gojo curse all known as Limitless right here so there are a few skills right here um, they gave us a key to showcase the skills so this is probably what's the point of this video showcasing the skills okay so without further ado let's get the video Fire it up and start! Alright, so first of all, E skill is a reversal red right here. Let me just use that. Basically, a very big uh, AoE smashed to the ground. Let me just use it again. There you go, like so. A big energy of uh, redness smashing down to the ground like so. Okay, so that's one now. Okay, we have a few more skills to go, you know. Okay, so next R is laps blue. So what I know about this skill is that uh, you basically, basically you use this skill, they will pull the NPC to you and then slam it to the ground let us just use the skill right here basically pulls the NPC and slams it to the ground let me just use it again pulls the NPC slams it to the ground pulls the NPC and slams it to the ground you can also combo this with the reversal red pretty OP uh, skill to combo with and then next uh, or you can also combo it with your curse daggers right here let me just pull this and Basically, you can, you can do this, uh, the dancing daggers, and there you go, you call it a day. Alright, so the next skill is uh, maximum output blue. Let me just kill this guy real quick. So the next skill is maximum output blue. It is basically a skill that is a magnetic ball spins around you, collects all the NPCs nearby, and smashing them onto the ground. Let me just demonstrate right here. Basically, a blue ball which is very magnetic and has a very huge AoE collects all the possible uh, nearby enemies and basically smashing them to the ground let me just get this guy up and fired okay so the next skill we have is obviously the most famous skill from JJK Gojo which is the hollow purple a blue ball and a red ball combined together it will become a purple ball summoning a big purple ball shooting them into a line causing a huge amount of damage so let me just use it again but this time aiming it at the rook sorcerer a big purple ball shooting them uh to the npc and i realized this skills range is actually mad long dude <laughs> the skills range is actually mad long i am surprised we've picked up the module i and i've forgotten what this thing does so we are here okay let's test let's test out the hollow uh the laps blue uh skill range Okay, so you cannot work that far. Cannot work that far. Let's just go closer. Can it work that far? Oh, it's a very, very long range skill. I am not gonna lie to you. That is very helpful when uh, comboing, man. That is very helpful when comboing. So, next skill is T skill, which is Blink. Um, If you play basically any One Piece game, we all know that Blink is a TP skill. Nonetheless, it is obviously the same thing right here a TP skill. So the cooldown uh, is probably going to be longer than this because um, there's no cooldown for this. Basically, it's because I'm trying to make a showcase here, okay? Just to make it more visualable, okay? On how the skill works and whatsoever. So there's no cooldown for this. But obviously, when you're playing in the real world game, there's obviously going to be a cooldown for this skill. So our last final skill, it is the G skill and that is Unlimited Void. And basically, what it's called in short form, it is the... Alti. So basically, if you guys don't know, Gojo has a domain, uh, basically is a time stop. Let me just use this on the Sorcerer. If you use the skill, you are bringing the time Sorcerer, any player you brought in to a very cool looking domain right here. And then you can basically just do whatever you want here. Okay, do they hit you? I am not so sure. So they can hit you, but like uh, the time stop in the domain has enough you know, time for you to basically just kill them up very, very quickly. Okay, if you have fast hands, <laughs> you know, you probably could combo them. But, um, you know, let's quickly show that skill one more time. All right, ladies and gentlemen, our ultimate is charged up once again. Let me just use it on this rogue sorcerer right here. And we have failed, but no worries. We got a no cooldown policy right here. So we're just gonna summon the skill once again. And basically, uh, they are 
time stop for like I'd say a good three seconds and then they start come uh come and hit you, which um with ten damage, okay? And then you can basically just combo whatever you want to do in here. Okay, it's basically you, you don't know what will interrupt you inside your own domain. And there you go, Gojo's ultimate domain right there. And this will conclude today's uh, new Gojo Limitless Curse Showcase right here, given by the death. Thank you very much, okay? I really, really appreciate it, okay? So be sure to like and subscribe, turn on that post notification so that you don't miss the video. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye. And also, very recommend to check out this Kaizen game if you're a big, big fan of uh, Jujutsu Kaizen. Because, man, let me tell you, that season right now is bombs, bro. Okay? Uh, goodbye.